welcome to Tech News with Chad Ramage. I uh, thought I'd keep on theme with the episode title tonight and go through two gaming reviews of one new and one early release game. So let's throw to the first video and let's check out the first game. So Kingdom Come Deliverance is a story-driven open-world RPG that immerses you in an epic adventure in the Holy Roman Empire. Avenge your parents' death as you battle invading forces. Go on game-changing quests and make influential choices. So this one is War Horse Studios' first game, initially funded by fans, and then an investor came in and uh, kicked the bucket up to $5 million. So that may seem a lot of money in game development, but when we look at major games like Skyrim and massive open world environments, that one was up around 85 million. So this game's been kind of uh, hammered due to how difficult it is, but it's that really interactive game and fighting style that has um, really got a lot of people sucked into it. The, uh, the more you do something within the game, whether that be sword fight or lockpick or uh, have conversations, that also levels your character. So it's a lot of character development based on what you do to really contour the character to your gameplay and uh, how you move through those role-playing type of games. So that one is available now on all platforms and for PC through Steam. And that one is 60 US dollars if you're to pick that one up through Steam. The second game we're going to have a look at is They Are Billions. So this one's a steampunk strategy game set on a post-apocalyptic planet where you build and defend colonies to survive against the billions of infected that seek to annihilate the few living humans. So this game will have two modes. So this is the one that's still in early early release and it's currently released survival mode so that's fully playable and they are still working on the campaign uh, this one really reminds me of those old school uh, real-time strategy games like command and conquer starcraft but the graphics are just beautiful they're 4k uh, but it still has Billions upon billions of zombies running around and really just trying to kill and destroy you. Uh, it has a real-time pause built into the game. So depending on how you really like to micromanage and what you do with games, it could go anywhere between 20 minutes and 3 hours. And it is absolutely vicious that you get no save options or anything. It's just save and exit. You can't come back. You can't just save, come back, close it, jump back in and try and save yourself. It's a matter of save and exit or it's all over. So very unforgiving. That one is 25 US dollars if you are to pick that one up on Steam. But that has a lot more functionality coming and it's definitely one to keep your eye on. So that's my tech news for today. Thank you guys for your time. And we're going to go back to Olivia, Greg and Brady uh, to have a little chat. Thank you, Chad. Before you go, I just need to say, do you get sponsorship from major corporations to come on this show? Definitely, definitely not. It's a <laughs> shame. Those are just my complete total addictions at the time. We should work on your corporate sponsorship. Thanks so much for your the Chad Tech News. So